Hello, 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 my beautiful and wonderful people. Welcome to the Conte Show broadcast by Visual TV in the Dubai studios. I'm your host, Alessandro Conte. And our today's guest, he's coming from a very, very ancient land, from the land of Persepolis, of the Persian Empire, of the amazing food and history. Yes, you guessed right, all the way from Iran here to Dubai. Please welcome to the show, well known as Mr. Taster. <laughs> And yes, my people, my beautiful, wonderful people, we're sitting with our fantastic guest, Mr. Taster. <laughs> Woo! Welcome. <laughs> How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm so good. I'm good and I'm so happy to be here saying hello to the audiences and the people are watching us. Thank you for um, coming. My pleasure to be here. It Thank you so much for inviting me. This is your house. You're Thank more you. than welcome. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. So, because we are Mr. Taser and you're also Hamid, that's your that's your real name, right? Yeah, I've got two names. I've got Hamid, and I've got uh, my English name is uh, Hubert. Hubert, yeah. correct. There you see a man yeah. of many names. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Taser is my yeah. brand name. Yeah. <laughs> And we have uh, Mr. Taster, which is a character that you created because um, you are a food blogger. Yeah. Um, uh, you're on YouTube as well. Yeah. Uh, your Instagram account that it will be showing here at Mr. T at Mr. Taster, Taster, right? Tell us about, let's, let's start with that character that you created. Who's Mr. Taster and when did you start it with um, this? The character, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 15 years ago in okay. London. Uh, I went to a conference called SES, which is Search Engine Strategies. And because I was Google certified, so I went to the conference. I learned about social media. I didn't know anything about Facebook. I didn't know anything about uh, social media. So when I went there, I found social media, uh, media getting important every day. And I went to a restaurant uh, and I had baby octopus. I put it in my Facebook account right. and it had like 400 likes. So I said, oh, you said this is that's really cool. <laughs> so I said, people love foods, yes. but they don't like my digital marketing expertise. So I switched it to food and I started Mr. Taster. And it's been like 14 years, 15 years that Since... I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm eating every day. <laughs> Many people asking me, what you are doing? I'm saying, I'm eating. I'm eating. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do for they life? Don't eating. Believe, yeah, <laughs> they don't believe it. At the beginning, but when I explain it, uh, what I'm doing, they they start to <laughs> believe in it. Enjoying every single yeah. taste, and you don't need to wait for any special occasion, <laughs> yeah. birthday, I don't know, uh, New Year's, uh, yeah. Christmas, <laughs> nothing. You just start uh, having fun and eating and, and trying, because about more than eating as well, do you also do, you do blog about those restaurants, right? You give your... Um, um, expert your comments and you also guide people through yeah. the gastronomy yeah. of uh, the place that this is the bakery oh that's the bakery yeah and then the meat they got ten yeah. no 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 and that's, that's bread. The, oh that's the meat that's is coming the from there different kind of food oh yeah we haven't even seen that <laughs> Mark Mark. Mark. Oh, how are you? Thailand. Thailand. Bangkok. Thailand, Bangkok. What a character. Amazing. Bye bye bread. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, she's a Shirazi. Khairi Marupe. Start to be. In just a moment, Bazar Morshe. Bazar Morshe. Two three. Hmm. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, 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 yeah. So herbal. Yeah. It's meaty, too. And meaty. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Stay in the day. <laughs> 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 Michael, yes. I'm going 
stop. Prison breakfast. <laughs> You, you know, I was food critic in the beginning, but okay. because I had too much problem with the restaurants, okay. with the police. And so you decided not I to... I decided not to... Focus. Yeah. So uh, it's been like two years that I'm writing only the restaurants I like. So that's it. Yeah. Better. Yeah. But like two days ago with Mark Means and Trevor James, we went to eight restaurants in one day. Wow. How was so that experience? It was really hard to be honest <laughs> with you, but fun. I loved it because I showed Iranian Uh, food Iranian in Persian food, food in uh, Dubai and I loved it which the Persian food the Iranian food has a, a variety of flavors yes. of it can it can vary from south to north from east to west yeah it's amazing um, you have um, also very traditional very cultural yeah. and um, from years and years of exactly of history right um, from which part of Iran would you say it's your favorite cuisine I would say you know each city you go you find their own yeah their own special food taste and their own flavors their own uh, it's amazing you, you must come to your honor uh, of course the Conto show will go to run one yeah <laughs> like like two years ago i invited mark means and trevor james they're youtubers and they had like eight million and six million um, subscribers on youtube and when i invited them i showed them persian saffron i showed them persian caviar and i took them six cities each So with Mark, we started from Rasht, and then Tabriz, wow. Shiraz, Isfahan, and then Chabahar. Because it's not only about the food, also the history, because every single dish and food has a story behind. Yeah, yeah. So you learn a lot about history, exactly. about the cultural place, about exactly. how this particular plate was um, uh, was made and yeah. everything, right? I saw actually um, part of the, and I loved it. Actually, that's that is how... Um, We uh, we became friends because I contacted him on uh, on social media. I saw his. I was looking one day. I was looking for for Persian food. Yeah. Um, where to go? Where to go in Dubai? Yes. And somehow I landed on uh, Mark Wynn's uh, YouTube channel. That redirected to me to study. your. I went to a study. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Very nice restaurant, by the way. Amazing, is, amazing yeah. taste. Uh, actually, now when every friend comes to. visit in the city, I tell them it is a must in Dubai yeah. to go to a study. But you must Dubai. check uh, my tour as well. You have, so it, when, when is it, when is it coming up? I think uh, about two weeks time. About two weeks Trevor time? is working on it. I think he's going to upload it in one week time. But On his I social media accounts and your social media on, accounts um, as well? Mark means and Trevor um, social media and also on my Instagram, which is mister.taster. That we're going we're gonna to follow him. It's appearing here on screens. <laughs> and from there, they can go and check everything. Yeah, all, your, all your social media accounts are, are there. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. Eight restaurants in Dubai that they can check. And also, I've got an application, as you know, that they can go yes. and find the restaurants. If they are in Iran or Dubai or anywhere else, in the and world. they can they can check and make sure that I mean it is a pr- like this is something that you tried it and you liked it, yeah. so you're telling people come up because exactly it is nice exactly yeah. And tell me a little bit um, off cameras as well. We were we were talking about your because you're not only a food blogger but you also organize um, conferences, yeah. events. How's that How's that situation going? I right actually, uh, when I when I left England, okay. I decided to. teach people how to do marketing and also okay. SEO, which is search and optimization. Yes. Um, and I started with first conference, which was, I started just myself and three or four other speakers from Iran. But the second till sixth one, it was all from Facebook people, from ex-Facebook or ex-Google, wow. ex-Yahoo. We had like Kasper Zimensky from ex, uh, he was working for Google. So I was inviting them to Iran and we had conferences with All 2,000 people. All former employees people. from this yeah, company. Yeah, 2,000 people were coming to the conference as well. Wow. And I'm so happy that I, uh, I did my best to teach people and, and youngsters how to do Search and optimization and digital marketing. Yeah. Can they find all of this as well? On, yeah, on they can YouTube find it on, on YouTube as well. Um, and also they can search it on Google. They can see it on my website as well. And you're based basically. You're that's your 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 major. You're like you're you're uh, based in marketing. Yeah, mainly, right? yeah. But at the moment, it's been about one year that I decided only eating foods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's much, and enjoy life. It's, it's, it's much better than you know digital marketing. But, uh, it is I a good combigital. combination, actually. Yeah, I, social I think, media. Um, 
are using my expertise on Mr. Tasted. That's why exactly. it's growing quickly. And, you know, when I'm coming to Dubai, it's like my home. And I can see people also. Yeah, I've seen people, people approaching you, taking pictures yeah, with you exactly. from all over the world. Yeah. Many countries. It's so. amazing, you know. Um, you know, food is peace language. Yes. I love it because yes. you can be friends with anybody, and, uh, yes. you know, in the world. And that's the... Uh, That's why I love eating and eating. It connects maybe, people. Maybe people thinking that I'm eating only, but you know I'm enjoying it. Of I'm, course. I, I'm connecting with people, and that's. It's that's like music. It connects yeah, with people. Yeah. It's, it's an international language and brings people. To, you know, when we're sitting in a table or anywhere where we're sitting and having food, sharing moments, sharing, understanding people's culture. Even if you're meeting someone, I mean, yeah, well, you exactly. have food. We should have brought some food today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some, I don't know, probably go to my Sapsi or some, uh, try yes. my coffee. <laughs> What do you think? A special coffee? Amazing. Nice it was good. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to put some saffron as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we have um, like um, all these be- beautiful foods like gourmet Sapsi. There is uh, also caviar. Well, yeah. Iran has the, the best caviar in the world. We put gourmet Sapsi. In the we world. put Kubide, which Kubide, forever loves well, it. Juje. Juje. And if you come to Rash, there are many stuff you can try like sour kebab and many stews you can choose from and chabahar you can find shekhar pad which is goat, goat. Uh, kebab and uh, that they putting on the floor on the on the ground Can and they, the they have fire around wow. it it's amazing tanuche they put the whole goat in, you know in the it's, tandoor it, yeah, yeah it's amazing you know everywhere you can find lots of foods and i'm sure if and you travel people. you will love it Uh, no, have you been sure. there anyway? No, I, no? I hope, I'm hoping to go and to visit you guys you and, and soon. Upon, you of course I will. Yeah. As soon as are they, when can we, once they let us in, I'm more than happy to go yeah, uh, and, absolutely. and enjoy. Uh, and I invite everyone because I'm please. getting many messages from people that how much you charge for having tour for us? Come, it's free. <laughs> I'm happy to help. It's my country and you're our guest. So, Thank you. And this is Iranian hospitality, my you. beautiful and wonderful people, because <laughs> I've seen also from other friends and people that they, they you know, they have the pleasure to go and visit yeah, the country, absolutely. how welcoming you are and um, how's, how's the people, how warm and, and they love to receive. Yeah, they love. Also welcome foreigners yeah, and tourists. They love foreigners, they love people. To show them their food, their exactly. traditions, their music, because they're also very rich in, in, uh, in terms of uh, poems and yeah, terms of yeah. uh, arts. Um, History. All the designs, historical food, food everything. <laughs> I mean, one month is not enough. Yeah, no, it's not enough. Sure. Let's plan uh, now and then January. Yeah. February, I'm gonna say two, two months. You're like yeah. Alessandro. It's time to go. <laughs> Why are you still here? No, no, <laughs> you said no. you're coming for one we week. Never say that. We never say that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, very excited to go, and uh, absolutely I will. And uh, you'll see us there as well, and having a lot of food and enjoying. Thank you. Thank you. And how did you find the weather now that you came back to? to our beautiful city of Dubai. Uh, actually, now it's winter t- or near winter, near time, winter time, so it's raining a bit, but I'm going. Uh, we are going to have a snow as well very soon. Soon, right? Very you soon. also were telling me off cameras yeah. that you have some uh, ski. Yeah, um, we have Shemshak, we have Dizim, we have Ovali, we've got a ski. Is it uh, far from the capital? Or? No, it's only one hour from Tehran. By, by car? By car, yeah. So no, you can so even far. you have the options, and yeah. in the south you also have the options. And it's between mountains, sea, beach, beautiful places. Mountains. We've got like boutique hotels over there. Yeah. By the way, I tried I tried the saffron that uh, I had last time that oh, you brought you like me. It? Very nice. My whole family was like, okay, <laughs> now we're doing a lot of putting it in the tea, the coffee everywhere. Yeah, I love yeah. the saffron ice cream, by the way. <laughs> and you know, it's it's more expensive than gold now. Yes, they yeah. call it uh, the red gold. Something. Yeah, red in, gold. In Italy, yeah. they call it like that, the red yeah. gold, the saffirano. Because we had a video, uh, they can search on Google <laughs> at, at Food Ranger uh, saffron. And they will see how they process how it's it. How harvested and, yeah, and everything. Exactly. Because it takes, uh, it is very specific the way they do it. And, yeah. and how they peak because it's, it's like the pistil inside the flower, exactly. right? Exactly. And five in the morning, you should be there. If not, Because seven in the morning, chance. it will be closed or so you can't see the flower. Yeah, this is why, because it is hard to, um, but the experts, they yeah. know how to, how to manage it. And you it know, we, we believe that the saffron is coming from God because... You can't get it anywhere in the world. It is a special. A special, yeah. Yeah. Well, usually I've seen um, that in some other in some other countries they um, uh, 
probably because they bought the the, the seeds of the flower and they're harvesting it in, yeah. in some countries in Europe, like Spain and and each other. Prob probably they're most probably they're importing it from Iran and then reselling yeah, it and uh, repackaging it, uh, yeah, repackaging it and reselling it and in exactly. a very expensive as well yeah, uh, high yeah. price because yeah. they can range. It can well, go if they up come to, to Iran, we give <laughs> exactly. cheaper one. Welcome. <laughs> You have also beautiful, uh, beautiful carpets, beautiful rugs. Yeah. I mean, the colors and they take time to be done, right? Yeah, sometimes a uh, couple of years taking to make it. Every single um, thread, they are carpet. silk, uh, wool, some of them, yeah. pure silk as well. You know, Qom and Tabriz are the most famous cities for that they the, have the, and Kashan. For the carpets. Yeah, for this the carpets. This is north of. Uh, of Tabriz Iran. is north east, I believe. Okay. Um, and Kashan and Qom is near Tehran. It's one hour from Tehran, yeah. Oh, so it's pretty... Question is two hours, yeah. <laughs> a lot to know, a lot to go. So tell us, uh, Mr. Taster, Hamid, um, what would you, if you would have right now your, I love this question, by the yeah. way, if you would have a younger version of yourself standing in front of you, a, a teenager, yeah. Hamid teenager, what would you say to him? <laughs> what advice would you give to him right now? I would say just be honest. Work hard and be polite to people, give love to people because this love is coming back to you very yes. soon. We pick it. Yeah, love. and that's why I choose my job, you know, <laughs> because I seeing many people and I loving them and hugging them all all the time. <laughs> and I was really worried when when the corona came, I was saying, Oh, am I going to hug people again? <laughs> Because I love people, you know. Yes. That's, no, that's, I can tell. We can see it on your social media, on your personality yeah. as well. For the people that they have the pleasure to know can you. Can I give as you well. a hug? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Taster, all the way from Iran to Dubai. Thank you very much Thank for coming. You. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Thank you for for being part of this. It was a pleasure to have Thank you, you so here. Much. Such a lovely person. Such a huggable person. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you know, all of you are welcome to to his country and uh, to know, to go, to taste, to learn about many things. And again, this is your house. You're more than welcome always. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you soon. And I'm going to invite all the all people to Iran. Send me a message in Instagram. It's free of charge anyway. Yes. <laughs> but Text him. There he's I'd going. I'd love to take you around. If i got time, i try. But if not, I will try to guide you where to go, where to eat. I'll do my best. I He's promise. more than welcome. And he doesn't bite, only food. <laughs> you can text him. <laughs> you know what they say? We're welcome, welcome. Send him a message. <laughs> Thank you, my beautiful and people, beautiful, wonderful people. <laughs> See you next time. Bye bye. Ciao. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bravo. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you.